Hi. My name is Mia. I hope you are doing great. I'm on vacation right now, and I decided to come to this beautiful place. This is Portugal. Hmm. I'm wondering. Have you heard about bivariate data? Well, that is data for two variables, usually two types of related data. Like, ice cream sales versus the temperature on that day. The two variables are ice cream sales and temperature. Well, let's search online to learn more about these concepts. Okay, let's start with the concept of bivariate data. Bi means two. Therefore, bivariate data involves studying and comparing two separate variables. Bivariate data is used to look for relationships between variables. One of the main purposes of determining whether or not two variables are related, is to see if one variable causes the other. A causal link between two variables, is typically found by determining if changes in one variable are caused by changes in another. We have two basic types of variables, independent variables and dependent variables. The independent variable is the variable that a researcher manipulates in an experiment. The researcher predicts that changing the independent variable causes a meaningful change in another variable. The dependent variable is the variable that a researcher predicts will change by manipulating the independent variable. The important thing to note, is that the researcher does not directly change this variable, it is changed or controlled by an outside factor, often the independent variable. So, how do we represent bivariate data? Well, we use scatter graphs. A scatter graph of bivariate data is a two-dimensional graph with one variable on one axis, and the other variable on the other axis. We then plot the corresponding points on the graph. We can then draw a regression line, also known as a line of best fit, and look at the correlation of the data, which direction the data goes, and how close to the line of best fit the data points are. Let's check the following example. Here is a set of data relating the temperature on days in August, and the number of ice creams sold in a corner shop. In this case, the temperature is the independent variable, and ice cream sales are the dependent variable. This means that we plot temperature on the x-axis, and ice cream sales on the y-axis. The resulting graph looks like this. Cool, right? So, what do you say? Can you continue recognizing bivariate data in real-world situations? Just remember that today you learned the concepts and characteristics of bivariate data. How to differentiate independent variables and dependent variables. And how to represent bivariate data by using scatter graphs. Practice a lot and you will see that you will be better at it. I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.